What up guys, Keith with the Landscaping Employee Trap. In this video I want to uh, point out some things in an infographic that I drew out. And I love drawing these things because they allow uh, your brain to see it in different ways. So regarding your business, these are the things that you need to have or the cogs in the wheel to make a business work. So imagine here's the center of the wheel and these are all the spokes. In order to roll down the hill, you got to have all these spokes in place. So you might be able to sell a job and get the job, but how are you going to do the job if you don't have all the proper tools? I don't even have that in here. Oh yeah, here you go, equipment. How are you going to do the job if you don't have the equipment? All right? If you're out collecting money into your personal bank account, um, that's not good. So you got to get an LLC, a C Corp or an S Corporation. And then, you know, now you're protected, all right? A business entity. So you can do the work, but now you have to have an entity to run the money through. Okay, what about investment capital? How are you going to get the business going? Um, well, something like a service business, you can start literally with no money at all. That's what I really like about the landscaping business. You can start it without a penny. So, but that's like, what if you're... Um, starting a business that did require that or maybe you wanted to buy a bunch of equipment and you didn't have the credit you need investment capital right okay well how are you gonna sell a job and even do a job if you don't have marketing skills or you don't understand marketing to get the phone to ring right because marketing is pretty much salesmanship in print right if you don't know how to market, then you can't get your phone to ring unless you're just knocking on doors, right? Well, you can't even sell a job if you don't understand sales and you don't know how to sell, right? Billing. How are you going to bill the customer? How are you going to do invoicing? How are you going to do all that stuff? You can do all this, but if you don't understand billing or you don't know how to bill the customer, you're going to be running around collecting cash or having to drive all the way to the customer's house to collect it a check on a handshake, right? So that's a piece of cog in the wheel that's very important. Money management. Uh, you can do all this stuff, but if you don't know how to manage your money, you're not going to have a business for long because of all the reasons I don't even want to list. So learning how to manage money and money management discipline is the biggest thing about keeping your money, th your business thriving because if you run out of money, you're done. Okay, insurance. Oh, that's super important. You got to have business general liability insurance if you're exempt from workman's compensation by being a sole proprietor or a, you know, general contractor who is basically the main shareholder of your business. You could be an exempt. You could be exempt if you're the sole proprietor, at least in my state. But don't quote me on that at all. It might be totally different for your state. So, anyways, I shouldn't even have said that. But insurance. Uh, well, what if you shoot a rock through someone's window and it costs 10 grand? <gasps> You're out of business if you don't have proper insurance to pay for that. Insurance is very important. And also get your foot in the door into commercial work, say, for say, or any type of work, whatever. Accounting. That kind of goes in play with money management. But accounting is uh, like your general ledger, digitally, managing your QuickBooks. What is your income versus your, your expenses, your profit and loss statement? Learning the basics of accounting is super, super important, obviously, when it comes to running a business. The business plan. A lot of this is under appreciated. Uh, I spent my last semester in college, the last two weeks, going crazy writing a business plan, and I put it into action. It wasn't perfect, but it really did work for me. Because I was so confused about how do I get this landscape business off the ground. Reading all these books, learning all this crap, and watching all these videos. I said, you know, you just got to go out there and do it. So write down a business plan. Write 10 pages of plans. And go out and put that stuff into effect, into execution. Taxes. Okay. Excuse me. You might be able to get away with not paying taxes. Or float under the table or under the radar. For a little bit. But... Paying taxes is a lot better and running a healthy, legitimate business, and that's the way to go. Or you'll be tossing a turn in, you won't be able to sleep at night, and you're stressed out, and all that. It's just not even worth it. 
there's two things in life you can't avoid. That's one and two, death and taxes. So uh, learning about taxes was a, is, a, is and was a huge thing to overcome for me, and I know it probably is for you if you're a new business owner. Uh, get books, learn about taxes, watch videos on taxes, get a book called Save on Taxes Big Time. The tax thing, it can be a huge mountain to overcome because of fear. Well, you don't have anything to be afraid of. It's just because you don't know about it and maybe you've heard nightmare stories from people. Learn all about taxes. Become obsessed with it. Get audiobooks on it. Read about it. Instead of watching the sports game, devour information about taxes. Ask everybody you know. Become friends with business owners and get over that hump and get the taxes thing handled literally as soon <laughs> as you possibly can. And, um, I'm laughing because it was a big hump for me, and I overcame it, and I learned it's a no big deal. It's a no, uh, it's no big deal, and now it's just part of my business plan. Taxes are, are all taken care of, and you can get to the point where you can set away so much money aside for taxes, <gasps> at the end of the year, after you pay all your taxes, guess what you have left over? A bonus that you can reinvest back into your company or save it or go on a vacation. I don't know. What is it for you? The technology curve and the learning curve, that's like learning, that's a huge thing. Technology curve, I don't even want to get into that. And then labor, that's another thing I don't want to get into in this video. Knowledge, knowledge is the biggest thing because you're constantly learning, growing, and changing in this learning curve like crazy. You have to learn so much so fast in the beginning of a new business, it can feel like your back is constantly up against the wall and you're on fire. Knowledge is the biggest thing I've learned. I'm personally investing money in programs and audiobooks and consulting and and all types of stuff i spend uh a few hundred two to three hundred a month just in knowledge uh just in education to keep learning about all this stuff to increase the business and i'm not saying me 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 listen to me i'm just talking you know conversationally but these are some of the things that i've come to find that have really um and there's more in there that I haven't listed, but these are some of the main things that I've really come to find that are extremely important when running the business. So imagine it's like at the spokes of a wheel. If you're running around doing just a couple of them or just trying to, you know, sell some jobs and then collecting cash and running around running this illegitimate business, you could just be, you know, you're not going to grow it. And in order to grow it, it is scary, it's hard, all that stuff. But once you've been doing it for a couple of years, it's nothing. And then you're like, how can I How can I expand this thing? How can I do more of this? How can I make more? Because once you get all this stuff down and locked in place, your anxiety and fear can kind of subside. And then you can really focus on making money. Then you can focus on making money once all this becomes second nature to you. But it does take a couple of years. So if any of this stuff stresses you out, don't worry, that's normal. But it's also a signal, the stress and the fear is a signal, to get on it, man. This is, this is what... Uh, you know, you're wearing many hats here. <laughs> you do wear many hats until you get to the point where your business is systematized and you you got enough money and money in the bank and money coming in and cash flow and you can predict what's going on. Then you can really start to systematize it and kind of not wear so many hats. But that's down the road. This is your average small business owner is doing all this shit. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please uh, subscribe to me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, hit me up on the www.thelandscapingemployeetrap.com. It's in the link in the description below of all my videos. Sign up to my uh, newsletters and I'll send you tons of cool free information. And I got uh, audiobooks, ebooks, uh, video course on all this stuff. Tons of stuff about this. So, alright, cool. Hope you enjoyed the video and later.